Hello today! And today we're going to have a game of Continental Circus on the MSX. Now I had this back in the day on the Amstrad CPC 464 and it wasn't a bad game. It's a conversion of the arcade um, game. <laughs> um, come out, I can't remember, 87 did that come out in the arcades? Um, I think I might have played that a couple of times in the arcades. Um, yeah, I've reviewed it on a few different systems to be honest with you. Some good, some pretty bad. And this is a Spectrum port apparently. Yeah, now, yeah, Spectrum ports pretty much were a thing for the CPC. Not all the time, but it's just laziness when you did. When, you know, I've had a few CPC Spectrum ports back in the day. And this looks like one of them on the MSX. And yeah, the MSX did suffer also from Spectrum ports. Right, okay, push enter. So, right. Keyboard, redefine the keys. Yes, please. I push two. I push two. Fucking hell, this is unresponsive. Oh. Why pause now? Accelerate. Change gear. And quit. No deceleration. No brake. That's a bit weird. And we got no music. Where's the music? What happened to that jingle? When we did ding, did ding, did We got no music. Well, that's a bit shit, isn't it? We've got no music immediately. And it's a spectrum port. How's it going to play? Oh, we've got to wait for the traffic lights. And there's no sound. And it's as sluggish as fuck. So we've got no sounds. Right. And there's no gear selection notification. So I don't even know what gear I'm in. So we've got a spectrum port, very, very sluggish. There's no sounds, no music. So this is completely laziness. This is very, very lazy. The CPC did not get a, um, a spectrum port, by the way. That was actually okay, CPC version, but this, it's sluggish. No sounds, come on. No sounds. Seriously, they couldn't even be bothered to put any sounds in. No music, they couldn't even be bothered to port that as well from the Commodore 64, not Commodore 64, the um, Spectrum, so they couldn't even be bothered to put any sounds in it. It is a 1 to 8K version, so I'm sure, you know, being the AY chip, has the MSX got an AY chip? Don't know nothing about the MSX, to be honest with you. Oh, I know, it's a standard. Oh, fucking hell. Right, can the... What the fuck? All right, can we carry... Oh, come on. Now, the Spectrum version was pretty playable. And I can't go... Oh, fucking, these controls are unresponsive. This is absolutely terrible. Didn't the MSX get shafted when it was in the UK? Well, the Japanese knew how to make games on it. I wonder why it failed in the UK. With the shit, the shit that went onto it. Spectrum bolts. I know the CPC got spectrum bolts, but I don't think it got no way as shafted like the MSX did. See, we've got a capable machine here, capable of much better, and this is our, and this is, and this is what it got in the well in the UK anyway. I mean, it did a lot better in Japan. I mean, at least they come out on cartridge in Japan. 
I mean, this is a disc image. Fuck it yeah, now. This is dreadful. This is absolutely dreadful. And you would have been paying what? This is an arcade conversion, so you probably would have been paying full price for this. I can't change down the gear. Fucking come on! That's shit! That is shit! I can't... Oh, this is terrible. It doesn't even tell you what gear you're in. They could at least put a fucking gear selection thing in it. They couldn't even be bothered. And I'm out of time. I do not want to play that again. I really don't want to play that again. That was... Look, I can't even... Am I going to get to the checkpoint? Am I going to get to the checkpoint? I have. I made it. I rolled across the line. I'm pushing... I'm pushing space bar. Oh, I'm going to have to continue, continue now, aren't I? This is... This is lazy. Absolutely lazy. Frame rate's absolutely shit. Controls are pretty much unresponsive. There's a, definitely a lag with the controls here. A lag. Pit in. You need sound at least to, you know, to hear the revs of your car. If you can't be bothered to put a fucking or high and low fucking gears on the screen, so at least you should put sound in so you can tell by the engine noise how um, what gear you're in. You know, you can tell by the revs to change gear. No, they couldn't even do that. Absolutely fucking terrible. This is really, really bad. So I've run out of time. Am I going to have enough momentum? Am I near the next checkpoint to cross the line? Oh, look how slow, look how, did, they couldn't even get the scaling right. <laughs> oh look, it's a checkpoint. And I'm going to blow up. Oh, I've made it. I made it. I fucking completed it. And I ran out of fucking fuel twice. Yeah, she looks really enthusiastic. Just standing there. Can't even be... She ain't even waving the checkered flag. Look. <sighs> Look how slow that is. That is awful. Where's the music? There's no music. I made it. I can't believe it. Continue on this level. No, I fucking don't. I don't think I made it because I had to qualify at least 85. 80, I only got 85 ranking. So even though I made it, I didn't I have to get at least 80 on the ranking. I got 85, so I don't want to play that again. I do not want to play that again. That was absolutely shit. Graphics look alright, but it was a spectrum port. No sounds. They couldn't be bothered to put sounds in. The frame rate was absolutely sluggish. Sluggish? Sluggish. The controls are pretty unresponsive. Um, it's crap. It is fucking awful. And they couldn't even be bothered to put a high low gear on the screen so you can tell what gear you're in. Absolutely dreadful. I would not rec recommend this version one bit. I would say it's the worst version I've played. Anyway, going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and goodbye.